So I just filmed this entire thing, but I was sitting over by the window and it's gloomy outside and it made me legit look like a smurf. So now I'm redoing it. <laughs> and I hate redoing things because like then it doesn't feel as genuine and it feels rehearsed because I've already said it all. Um, but anyway, hi. This is my 12 week, yeah, 12 week bump date. I am 12 weeks today, um, which is crazy because my last bump date was at nine weeks and that feels like it was like just last week. Um, this is going by like so fast. Um, anyway, today the baby is the size of a plum. It says 2.09 inches and 0.49 ounces. Um, so it's still tiny, but getting bigger. Um, yeah, it says that most of the baby's critical systems are formed. Um, baby is about to enter the growth and men maturation stage, um, which organs and tissues will grow and develop rapidly. Baby is now developing reflex. If you poke his or her ba own body, you'll likely see movement which I can attest for because today at the ultrasound, and I'll show those pictures in a second. I had an ultrasound today. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday. Um, but today at the ultrasound, it was, he or she was like dead asleep. Like she was moving the lawn and she was like, yeah, he's just chilling there. And she was like, let me see if I can wake him up. And she like pushes the thing into my belly a little bit and jiggles it. And all of a sudden he or she just woke right up and just started moving like crazy. It was the cutest thing. Um, with Riley, she was just moving automatically, so like I didn't get to see like him or her. I didn't get to see Riley like actually respond to like an outside touch. Like I don't know, it was really it was really cool to see. Um, it says babies opening and closing fingers and curling toes to. Um, it's just saying. Things are changing fast. We're almost in the second trimester already. I think the tr second trimester ends at, or starts at, like I think it's like technically like 13 weeks, two days, but I, I always go by like the beginning, the end of 13 weeks, the start of 14 weeks. So in like two weeks now, <laughs> which is absolutely insane. This is going by so fast for some reason. I think it's cause I'm so preoccupied with a bunch of other junk that's happening right now. Um, but yeah, just it's going by so incredibly fast. Um, <laughs> I just know like in a couple, like it's weird to think in like a month or so, I'm gonna start feeling movement and like, wow, like I don't know, just insane. Um, so I wanted to go over, I guess, symptoms. Um, nothing much has changed. Um, I have been having light cramping um, it kind of just feels like menstrual cramping. I brought it up to my doctor at our doctor's appointment yesterday and he didn't seem worried about it. He said that was normal. I also mentioned that I've had a little bit of back pain and it feels really similar to the back pain that I had at, with Riley um, at the end of my pregnancy with her. So when she was like big and like if I was standing for too long, like I would start feeling it. I'd just get this like urge to just like fold myself, like roll my spine. Like it felt like my spine was like bending and like I needed to straighten it out and that's almost how I that's how I described it back then and that's kind of what I'm feeling like already but I'm like baby's obviously doesn't even weigh an ounce yet um like there's no way it's from like I just don't know I guess it was just part of me cramping but like I said he didn't seem right about it and the cool thing is is that when like I have cramping and I get like kind of nervous about that sort of thing um I can just, I have my home Doppler, so I can just whip that out and in seconds, like I've gotten so good at finding him. I know where he or she is, like, and it takes like less than a minute for me to find it. Um, the other day, actually, I, cause it makes like, the Doppler makes a really loud noise when you like put it into the gel and like move it around. So I normally put it on my belly and then turn it on so that it doesn't make that loud noise. Um, the other day I actually put it on my belly, turned it on, and right away, like I didn't have to move it at all. Like I had put it right exactly on where the heartbeat was. Um, so I'm getting really good at that. <laughs> um, that's always reassuring. So whenever I have like any cramping or anything like that, anything that makes me slightly nervous, I just, I'm able to do that really quick and be reassured. Um, another thing is, um, dizzy spells. I've been getting a little dizzy, um every now and then. 
I've noticed it. It's like when I get up off the couch, I think I'm getting up too fast. Um, that's not anything that I dealt with before pregnancy, and that's nothing I dealt with with Riley either. Uh, I'm not really sure what it is. I've been eating enough, and I, um, I don't really know. Um, I think I might need to start taking a iron supplement, which I did with Riley. I think that might be part of the reason I'm getting dizzy spells. Maybe I don't have enough iron. I don't know if that's what would do it for me or not, but, um, I don't know. I'm thinking about that. That's the only thing I wanted to say was I've been taking these prenatals and they're just prenatals that I got from the pregnancy center that I was going to before I got my insurance worked at and everything. Um, and they only have, what does it say? 13 mg's of iron and 400 mcg's of folic acid. So they're not the best. Um, and luckily my doctor, I just went to see my OB yesterday, he actually gave me a prescription for um, a prenatal vitamin. And I was, cause I was like, yeah, the prenatal I'm taking right now only has like 400 and CGs of folic acid and he was like the one that I'm giving you that I'm prescribing to you has like 800 it has more iron like you should probably just go get that so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go get the prenatal that he prescribed um but yeah anyway so today I went to that ultrasound and I wanted to share photos of course so this is these first couple of photos are when he or she was sleeping at first so he's kind of facing down um, like sleeping kind of like this way instead of normally like cradled. Um, here's another one. Still facing down. That's another one of them facing down. And then she woke up and now she flipped over. Now she's facing up. This little one says, here I am. Ah, I don't want to glare. <laughs> So yeah, it was really cute and Riley got to see it move around on the ultrasound and she was so excited, which is another thing. Like she has been so sweet this whole time. Like she is so incredibly sweet. Like she'll come up to me in the mornings when I'm laying on the couch and she'll be like, me kiss baby sister, can I kiss baby brother? I mean baby, can I kiss baby sister? Can I hug baby sister? Like she's still dead set that it's a baby sister. She's dead set on that. She thinks it's baby sister, girl, baby sister. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, she's so sweet. She always wants to give uh, my belly kisses and hug my belly. And she always wants to, she's just so sweet about it all. Um, she'll like go and grab me water and be like, baby sister's thirsty. And she'll give me water and she'll be like, drink, drink, cause baby sister needs water. Um, <laughs> so she's, she's so cute about it. And it makes me so excited cause that's one thing I was worried about and I think all like second time mothers are worried about is like jealousy and like not only that but being like okay now I'm not I'm gonna have like I can't give like almost a guilty feeling like where you're like I'm not gonna be able to give my first child 110% of my attention like I always like I normally do like what she's been used to her entire life like it's almost like a guilt feeling where you're like how is she gonna deal with that? Like, is she gonna be jealous? Is she gonna have like certain feelings about that? Like, just like all these emotions and, but her just being so excited and being so willing to join in and help and being so ex like loving about it, it's just making me feel so much better. Like a million times better. Um, so yeah, it's just really cute being able to see her get excited. And like I said, she saw the ultrasound today and she was loving it. and. It's just, it's so cute to hear her sit there and talk about baby sister, baby sister, of course. If it's a baby brother, I don't know if she'll feel the same way. She says, she says, we'll ask, we ask her like, well, what if it's a baby brother? Will you still love it? And she's all like, yeah, I'm <laughs> like, duh. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, another thing, I when I went to the doctor, I did, he mentioned um, my weight gain goal. He said about 20 to 25 pounds. I'm still gonna stick to about 15 pounds not that i'm gonna like restrict my diet or calories or anything like that but i'm still just gonna be super mindful of what i eat and um i'm hoping to only gain like 15 pounds obviously if i go above that i go above it it's not a huge deal like i said i'm not gonna be like cutting calories to make sure i only gain 15 pounds 
but that's still my goal. Um, even he said he was like, weight gain doesn't so much as matter as much as like making sure you're eating right the majority of the time, um, which I feel the same way. I'm like, I, I eat like pretty dang healthy. Like I would say 85, I might even go as far as like 90% of my diet is pretty dang clean. Um, obviously I do splurge. Like today I had banana nut bread and a um, small um, iced chai tea latte at Starbucks today, but I mean like overall like most of my meals like my breakfasts are always super healthy normally my lunches are pretty dang healthy my dinners I normally pretty dang healthy throughout the week I mean we might go out and get something on the weekends when Jake's off and everything but even that like when we go out like I had a Panera sandwich yesterday and even eating out at Panera it was pretty dang healthy it was a veggie like a Mediterranean veggie sandwich and it had like hummus and um lettuce and cucumbers and uh, bell peppers and everything. So I think just generally, like I just, because of my diet, because I don't eat meat and stuff like that, and I don't eat dairy, um, just like I naturally push towards healthier options, especially when you're going out to eat. Um, so yeah, I think that's it though. I think that's everything that we've talked about with the doctor. Um, but yeah, 12 weeks, guys, like, Dude, it's crazy to think that in two weeks, I will be into my second trimester, which is like, what? What? Already? And like, I know pretty soon I'm gonna start feeling baby kick. And then I'm so excited for, for Riley. Like, I wasn't excited at all with Riley to feel movement. I was like, that is weird. That is creepy. I don't wanna feel that. I was like, I was, I didn't wanna feel it anytime soon. Um, but with this time around, I'm like, I'm kind of excited to feel it um, because I, I want to start feeling it from the outside so that Riley can feel it too because um, I think she'll think that's really special when she's able to feel that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. 12 weeks, um, size of a plum, getting big, getting bigger every day. Um, steady heartbeat today of uh, 169 beats per minute and yeah, I think that's it. So I think I'll check back in in probably about two weeks, so the start of my second trimester. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye!